Dude lost to Donzo. Oh my god. Or Shisui is just so ass. I might hate Shisui more than fucking Toby Rama. Like, just because Shisui is just so fucking stupid. Like, I, I just. I can't wrap my head around how, like, niggas think Shisui is so powerful. And then. Like every every iteration of Shisui gets beaten by the exact same guy. He has been folded three different times by the same nigga. Like like what the fuck? <laughs> and if 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 anything, if you want to count it for real, he's been folded four times by that nigga. He got folded in the novel, he got folded in the game, he got folded in the anime filler. And in the in in the fucking manga, it happens too. The nigga's been folded in four different iterations of the story. Why do you want to? Why do y'all want to keep fucking that nigga over? Like the, like when niggas are voting for Shisui on the on the fucking Nara Top ninety nine thing, I'm like, bro, stop. Like, why do y'all want to see this nigga get fucked over for a fifth time? Like, sure, we can we can learn some like lore shit about Shisui. But so like the, the basis for why you would want to learn more about a character is the fact that they have like an interesting spot in the story, right? Or like something interesting about them. The only thing interesting about Shisui is the fact that he used body flicker a lot and he has really strong genjutsu. We saw both of his eyes genjutsu get used, so we know how strong it is. And we saw other people use body flicker. So what's the point in finding out more about Shisui's character when we already know exactly how it ends and the details of his life are not that interesting? Think about this. Al fought Shisui. So he fought Shisui a few times in the war arc, according to himself. Not war arc, but in the, in the last war. He fought Shisui a few times. And he couldn't kill Al. He then lost to Donzo. What about Shisui from, from canon material, by the way? What about Shisui from the manga makes you want to know more about him? Anything more about Shisui that you could know isn't going to be interesting in any way. I just don't understand why anyone would want to vote for him at that point. Sasuke would run through the entire Demon Slayer verse in the tuning exams. Appreciate the 20 though. That slow ass verse. Jiraiya versus Orochimaru is a video I kind of want to do. It's not as debated anymore as it was like when I first got into the Naruto community in like 2019. But, yeah. I voted Kimi Maru. I mean, like, Kimi Maru, he's, he's all right. It would be better if we knew how long this manga was going to be, because then it would sort of justify more places and whatnot. Like, okay, when it says that a character will be featured in a short manga, Let's entertain the idea that that means that the character is going to get their own like volume level thing. That would be around like 10 chapters. That's about the length of a normal volume, right? Nine to 10 chapters. It was around nine to 10 chapters. I obviously want a story about either Minato or Sakumo. Those are the people we know the least about or, or Madara or Madara. Those are the people we know the least about that it would be interesting to know more about because Madara is tied to a point in time where we get to see very little. And when we do get to see it, it's mainly focused on just him and Hashirama. So we also don't know about Madara's Mangekyo abilities or his brother's Mangekyo abilities. We know him and Hashirama fought a lot, but we don't know what those battles consisted of. We just know that they were like giant war arc stage type battles um, that would go on. We know that if one clan was to hire the Sinju as guards, the other clan would hire the um the Uchiha as guards. That's enough to warrant a volume worth of storytelling. 
and then Sakumo is supposedly like Sanin level. But we have, we don't even know a jutsu that Sakumo has ever used. He's interesting enough just being about Sanin level that we can get more info on him and it'd be like cool and fine. Because if I remember correctly, he died prior to the third war and the Sanin were the heroes of the second war. Right, and his name's never mentioned there. So that means that his like claim to fame came in between the second and third war and between war periods or without a war going on, he managed to get up to signing level. So I want to know about this guy because from the sound of it, he had more potential than Kakashi. And then Minato, obviously, you got a bunch of things from the third war that we could then learn. Minato supposedly fought the Raikage and B multiple times. Um, he was apparently using tons of sealing jutsu in that in the in those encounters. Hold up, we get any donations. Who's better at water release? Tobirama versus Kisame. Uh, to Kisame has better showings with it, but I wouldn't be surprised if Tobirama was better overall. Was the five Kage versus the Sani in a good fight? Uh, maybe. <laughs> the Sani versus the five Kage might be like a good video to do. What's the best thing we could get from a Minato manga lore wise? The best thing we could get lore wise is um likely some information on the third war. We get very little information on the third war. Did you want to see a Hashirama manga to see how he died? He, yeah. Chisui versus Tobirama or the battle of characters. People think would scale to Minato for no reason. Chisui versus Tobirama is something niggas just don't think about. I mean, Toby Romo would absolutely obliterate and baptize that nigga, but. Fuck, ping me. me and Minato would also give us, like, you know, a bunch of shit we could learn. Like, bro, I'll even take Toby Rama, bro. Just don't give me Shisui. Toby Rama, actually, I would take Toby Rama too as like the fourth person because Toby Rama has. He, he, the point in time where Toby Rama appears, we know basically the least about. Appreciate the two dollars, Assassin Knight. So, I'd also like to see Toby Rama die. My bad, I was taking Twitter. <laughs> 